Hello everyone and welcome to the guild, a 1.21 SMP where members are all part of a guild. We must complete weekly tasks to earn points which will allow us to level up through the ranks. And don't forget, we'll be switching to hardcore mode halfway through. Today we'll be building a magical tree stump branch mine entrance and taking a trip to the nether with some friends. So if that sounds exciting to you, then be sure to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and jump right in. So I signed onto the server one day and looked at my cake and it's literally gone. What happened? Who ate it? If you know who ate my cake, let me know. Or maybe a zombie ate it. Is that a thing? Does that happen? But either way, it was not me, not I who ate my cake. It's very rude if you ask me. I didn't even get a slice yet. But anyways, today I would really like to get a full enchantment set up, but we don't have any cows but do you know who do have cows sev and red over there they are hoarding all of the cows so i'm going to go ahead and drop over there and grab a couple of them oh and i did do a bit of caving in between episodes and honestly i just played on going to the lush cave to get a little bit of moss but it kind of turned into a full-on caving trip and i ended up getting 33 diamonds honestly don't know how this even happened to be fair i did have an insane amount of luck but i am going to trade these little diamonds for those cows so that i'm not just stealing them i guess that'll be nice i didn't even bring any leads i probably should have done that i didn't even think about it um if you have like a little piece of wheat i can take that as well and i can just lead them over with that okay uh take the wheat Leather. thank you oh thank you oh yeah uh, okay i cake. i oh cake cake why cake <laughs> Why cake? <laughs> well, um, so about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so like the other day. Uh huh. So me and Red went over to your bay. Of course, it was you and Red. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we like looked around, and your base is really cool, and we really love the staircase. Uh huh. We rode our camel uh -huh. up there. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, so. And then we went to your house, and then we looked into all your chests, you know, like the neighborly thing to do. Yeah, yeah. And well, I was kind of hungry, and then I may have accidentally eaten your cake. Accidentally <laughs> took a little munch of my cake. Okay, got yeah, it, little, got it. And then I took more and more. <laughs> okay, so a zombie did not eat my cake. I literally was thinking this entire time that a zombie had eaten my cake. I was like... I'm not admitting this. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Gotta. thank you for baking me another one. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to move over mm. the cake one block over anyway, so you kind of did me yes. a favor. Sev literally had me thinking this entire time that a zombie broke into my house and ate my cake because my windows are kind of open, so I was like, okay, it could have happened. Okay, that's fair. And they ate it the entire time. I knew it. I knew it. Mm. Well, for now, until I build you a pen, you can live in here. Oh, actually, that's a terrible idea because they can get out. Okay, never mind, never mind. I know that I have some leads in here. And then we'll just put them on a little fence. There you go, little baby cows. And we can officially put our cake right here instead of here. And we'll just nom on the rest of this cake as soon as we get hungry. Now, since we do have 31 diamonds now, we have enough diamonds to create a full set of diamond armor, which is truly crazy. But let's go ahead and do that. And we do have a resource pack that makes the armor not so obtrusive so that you can see the skin, but you can also see the trims. But our iron armor did us so well for one episode. So let's go ahead and display it here. Anyways, moving on to today's project i plan on building a branch mine entrance even though that we do have a full set of diamond armor i kind of want more diamonds you know so maybe over here would be a pretty good spot but i plan on building a tree stump branch mine entrance and it's gonna look so fairy corn so cute but that being said we need to go ahead and start gathering some of the materials for that and particularly i want some lily pads so that we can create a lily pad path and brooke let me know of some coordinates to the closest mangrove swamp so that is where we are going to be headed and also maybe we can find some frog friends so let's bring some leads and also i am going to need those leads cows so sorry we'll just put them up here temporarily in you go oh do not hey 
stop it. Now this swamp is a little under 3,000 blocks away, so this is going to be a bit of a journey, but it'll be a nice, cozy, fun journey. I love adventuring in Minecraft. And according to Brooke, we just need to go this way a whole bunch, and then we'll be there. Um, I love how I didn't even bring a bed. Luckily, there's plenty of other people on the server, so hopefully they will all go to sleep. That's what we're gonna hope for. So I figured that I could talk a little bit about my axolotl plan for this series, because I do indeed want to try to get the rare axolotl. So I'm going to need a ton of tropical fish for that and actually wait, this is perfect. So the best way to do it is to make a little separate outpost in a place that a bunch of tropical fish spawn. And there are going to be so many tropical fish here with this coral reef. So let's get these coordinates and then maybe we can make our axolotl outpost here. So in the next episode, that's what we will be doing is making that outpost. We won't quite do it in today's episode, but I do want to come back here maybe and get a couple tropical fish just so that we can breed a couple of axolotls. I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and get it on like the second try. That's not very likely, but you never know. Ooh, is that a desert? That's pretty neat. I do need a bit of sand, so. Oh, let's go ahead and dock here and get some two and a half stacks that seems like enough let's continue oh there we are i see it all right let's grab some of these lily pads oh my gosh i just heard a frog hello froggy where are you oh there you are okay don't hop away. You are now mine. Hopefully we can find one more and then we can breed them up. There's some stuck right here. So we'll go ahead and grab all of them. Now we have three little froggies. We got some lily pads. I got some sand and some cacti and some propagules. Now one more thing I'd like to grab is a little bit of bamboo so that I can make scaffolding. Oh look. Oh, I should have brought a diamond pickaxe. And then I could have gotten a bit of obsidian for the enchantment setup that we're going to need. Ooh, we don't have melons yet. Let's grab some. And maybe some cocoa beans too. And of course, we'll need a bit of jungle log just in case if we do want to farm them. Oh, and perfect. We have some bamboo right here. Now we have about everything that we could ever want from the jungle and the mangrove swamp. So let's go ahead and head back home. Um, Obviously, I'm going a different way than I went before because I just found a mushroom island. Okay, that's so cool. Are there any mushrooms on there? <gasps> there are. Oh my gosh. We have to get some. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to let a frog go so that we can get a mushroom. Oh wait, no. One can ride in the boat with me. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Come here, little mushroom. And then you too, okay? Oh, frogs. This is gonna take a bit of uh, strategy here. Now I need to round up all of my frogs. Oh, the other one's over here. And now we should be good to go. Getting these cows up the staircase is the most painful thing I've ever done in Minecraft. What do you mean? Why is it so hard? And yes, I did have to leave a frog because I forgot that I'm not going to be on my boat the whole time. So there was just no way to do that though. I guess I could have left it in the boat over there. It's fine. Yeah, they keep on falling off. What is happening? And he's just hanging there. I'm gonna scream. Come on. Okay, we literally have one. Oh, and we have a frog. Come, 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 come. Now we'll leave the frog here. Let's go rescue the others. Hello? Hello? What are you doing up there? Oh my gosh, and there's the frog. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Really, it's fine. Okay, let me like build him a staircase or something. What is happening? <gasps> oh my gosh, the frog just died. The frog literally just jumped on a piece of dripstone and died. What is happening? Let's try leading the mushroom with wheat. I think that'll be a lot easier. Now, please do not jump on the dripstone, please. I need to get rid of that. That is, that is a hazard, a safety hazard. Come here. Why do they walk on the edge? You're making me nervous. In you go. Okay, well, at least the mushrooms have made it, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go back and try to get that one frog that I left because I want two frogs. I want to 
to be able to breed them. Also, I think my leads despawned. So I only have two left. This is great. Everything is going so well. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Back all the way over there. Hello, I just fell in a hole. The frog is way over there, but at least he didn't despawn. Come on, little froggy, let's go home. I'm sorry to say though that one of your friends did not make it, but you're just built different. You're gonna be fine. Now, please be so careful. So careful, little frog. Hello, do not go down the waterfall. Oh my god. Oh, why was that the most stressful thing ever? And it had no right in being so stressful. Anyways, let's breed up the cows. I guess we'll also breed up the mushrooms. How is that my first time breeding up animals? I have literally no idea, but okay. Now that our adventure is out of the way, let's go ahead and start getting this build in. So first things first, let's clear out a little bit of land. Oh my gosh, you scare me. Literally, where did you come from? Actually, where did you come from? I can't believe I caught him though before he exploded. Well, it is tree stump time. So let's go ahead and, you know, map it out as we do. We'll step back, see how it looks, and then we'll go from there. So that will kind of be the center. I think I need to be over left a little bit. So let me change it. Okay, come on now. Where are you all coming from? Is there a cave? Hello? Okay, it's fine. So I do want to have a big pond all the way around the tree stump as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Tree stump in the middle of a pond. It's going to be cute. Let's fill her in. And it's actually going to be up on a bit of a platform. So we'll go ahead and add another layer. Here in the front, we'll have a staircase so that we can actually go up into it. And then really all that's left to do now is just to add a lot of different variation and build up the walls a little bit. So I don't want it to just be a tube coming off of the ground. I do want to have different levels to the stump. Excuse you, donkey, you're kind of in the way. But we'll have little bits coming off of it as well. Oh my gosh, there is literally another zombie. I have no idea where they're coming from. I don't understand. Oh, I see. Oh, there's an emerald. Sneaky, sneaky little mobs trying to wreak havoc. Oh, look, look. Oh, wait, should we keep him? Should we keep him? Oh, wait, that's. I'm trying to set on the boat. Boat. Hello? Oh, you're burning. Okay, I was really trying to save you, but actually, let's just not do that. You will just have to die. I'm so sorry. Hello? I spent way too long yapping and getting attacked by mobs. Let's focus. Let's get this build in. Let's get this done. it what do you all think i love this build so much and i really think it fits the vibes of our base we of course have some giant mushrooms lots of foliage around the pond some little froggies that are attached right here underneath these moss carpet layers and then we have another little guy back here originally i was thinking about building a gazebo branch mine entrance but the gazebo just wasn't gazeboing and somehow i ended up building a tree stump and i'm so glad that we ended up here and inside the tree stump i did go all the way down to y negative 58 it took a very long time indeed we have a little water puddle right there at the end we have a little bed for whenever we come back home from a late night caving trip a little chest you know a crafting table a spore blossom for those beautiful particle effects and i did go ahead and attach
attach the build over here to my starter house. So my base is like coming together so well and I just love it so much and I can't wait to get even more builds in here. But moving on, we have things to do. I have to build this enchantment setup. So I have been breeding up the cows a little bit and I did eliminate a lot of them. So I think that we have enough leather now and also we definitely should have enough sugar cane. But we don't have any obsidian so let's go ahead and craft our very first diamond pickaxe and there she is actually i think i want to craft a diamond sword as well just because my iron sword broke so i figured i might as well do that and soon enough we'll have enough diamonds for all of our diamond needs let me fill up this water bucket and i feel like i've seen a lava puddle somewhere so hopefully we can find one and then we can get a bit of obsidian. Oh, there it is. I knew I saw one. And we just need a little bit. Oh, don't you just love mining for obsidian with an unenchanted diamond pickaxe? It takes so long. Now with this obsidian, let's grab our leather and also our sugar cane. Craft up a bunch of books. And just like that, we have 15 bookshelves, exactly what we need for an enchantment setup. Let's grab these diamonds. Luckily, we perfectly have two diamonds left. And there we are. Let's go upstairs. And of course, I'm going to place it up here. Again, I feel like this is just the perfect spot. We'll just place the bookshelves all the way around. And let's see what that first enchantment is. Efficiency four. Okay, that's not too bad, but I really want fortune three. Let's go grab some lapis. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and get a chest, a grindstone, an anvil, all of those enchantment setup necessities. I did get this one enchanted book while I was fishing, and then I got this infinity enchanted book, I think from a mine shaft. So those were pretty cool finds. Anyways, I kind of want to re-roll this enchantment just to see what we can get the second time. Oh, fortune three, okay, perfect. That was so worth it. I'm so glad that I did that. Let's see if we get anything else. What do you mean? What do you mean that's such a good pickaxe? Well, perfect. That is just what I wanted. Well, we've made a bunch of progress so far in today's episode. But of course, this is the guild and we are in a competition. So I have to get on it with this task. So I'm going to go ahead and check out the task board and see what task we can claim. Ooh, what is this fancy building? That looks so cool. We'll have to check that out later. But first, to the task board. So all of the tasks for this week are nether themed and technically we have already done the enchanter task so i could do the easy way out and claim this one and go ahead and do it however i want some water breathing potions for next week so i think i'm going to go ahead and claim the local brewery task because of course in next episode i do want to build the axolotl outpost so i really think some water breathing potions would be super helpful for that all right now let's check out this building here and there's also a sign that says join the club for cold rewards and obviously i want cold rewards so let's go ahead and join whatever this club is i will just say that this is the coolest building ever and i love this little roof detail right here so neat but let's see what this says over here club i'm not scared i want to join club i'm not scared because I'm not scared. So far, Sev, Brooke, Red, Drift, Moon, Knives, and Trash. Almost everyone is a club member. Now we need to become club members. Oh, wait, but I think there's more that I have to do. I don't think I just write my name on the sign. Let me read this. Club, I'm not scared. Registration, requirements, haven't died in the nether, and doesn't stink. If that is one of the requirements, then why is Drift one of the members? Anyways, put three diamonds in the chest to register for club membership. If you are poor, you can pay later. I don't think we're too poor. We can pay that. How the club works. Complete bounties to reach higher ranks in the club. Every rank has exclusive rewards. You can't skip ranks, so do iron gold and diamond so i think if we go on in here then we have these little things that we can fulfill iron rank kill seven skellies in the nether then there's three magma cubes three piglins and three more magma cubes so we had to complete one of the iron ranks before we go to gold um excuse me sprinkle monster trap sparkle egg i don't know how i feel about that but okay that's fine but we're not quite there yet let's go ahead and pick one of these 
iron rank bounties. I guess we'll do the magma cube one because I need to enact some revenge on some magma cubes. And then it seems like we get some rewards here. One item slot per completed task. Oh my gosh, a diamond, that's so cool. Hot tub pass, oh my gosh. Sev is honestly the coolest. Can I be Sev when I grow up? Well, that will be a little fun task for us to do in the nether. And we're actually headed over to the nether right now, believe it or not, with both Trash and Madison. And I'm so excited and we're definitely not going to die. But actually first, let me go ahead and gear up a little bit and then we'll meet up with them. We have little gifts here. Thanks for letting me use the fortune pick from both Red and Drift. What? That's so nice. Okay. Because I got such a good pickaxe, I let a bunch of people borrow it. And that's so kind that they gave me little gifts. Five diamonds? All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and gear up from the nether. We'll give our five diamonds. And then we'll head to the nether with Trash and Madison. But first, a little side task. Remember how Sev ate my cake? Yeah. And how she was nice enough to bake me another one? I even heard that she delivered a cake to another member too. That's so kind. So I'd like to return the favor, but do even better. So I got busy baking a bunch of cakes and left them everywhere all over her tent. I can't wait for her to come home and see her little surprise. I hope she likes it. Anyways, to the nether now. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello. Madison. Are you all Hello. ready for the nether? No. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. Honestly, I mean, me neither. I'm uh, terrified. <laughs> just a little, just a little scared. Okay. And I figured that we could just use this nether portal because I don't know about you all, but I definitely don't have a nether portal. No, absolutely yeah, no. not. No. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sev, for letting us use your portal. We couldn't have done it without you. As soon as I entered, I was immediately shot at by a skeleton. Such a lovely welcome. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting attacked immediately. Oh, no. Oh, God. Honestly? Oh. The worst biome. Both Trash and I needed to find a nether fortress for our task, and Madison wanted to find a warped forest for the wood. So as we were traveling around, we were keeping our eyes open for one of those things. But first, let's hop in this random nether portal and see where it takes us. I wonder whose base this is. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, oh this is so fancy. What? Oh. Oh, it's Brooks oh, well, now portal. I have, oh, well, now I have to see. It's so cute. Whoa. Look at it. Look at the mushrooms. What the heck? Why, how am I on the opposite <gasps> side? This is so cute. What the heck? I love how we're supposed to be exploring the nether and we just go back to the overworld. <laughs> <laughs> like immediately <laughs> okay now back on track we had heard about a fortress fairly close to the nether portals so that was our first goal and sure enough we found it oh there it is the fortress oh oh, oh and is that nether wart right there no oh. it is a magma cube oh yeah i had to kill three magma cubes for the oh. bounty okay well my task is done i'm gonna go <laughs> <laughs> like i'm out of here <laughs> Once we made it inside, though, the chaos began. Meanwhile, I just left my friends in the search of a nether wart room and let them struggle. Okay. Oh, God, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, no. <gasps> I just I just almost jumped off the side of the cliff. It's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is oh up no. In this area? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. What? No. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Where are you? Okay. Uh, well, I'm in the uh, world. Uh, uh, <laughs> that did not it's... last long at all. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's oh my god. Fine. I'm truly an awful friend, but I did meet back up with Trash, and we made sure to get all of Madison's stuff before it despawned. Oh Trash, god. where are you? Oh, I well, I see, I I see Madison's stuff. This is this is awful. I hate that it's so open. I know. I'm on fire. There's I no can't... cover no. whatsoever. The blaze oh, is shooting no. me from so far away. Madison luckily made it back to the fortress in one piece, just in time to die again. I've made it to the fortress. Yay! Oh, I'm inside. Yay! I'm, oh, ah. I'm on fire again. <laughs> I heard you light on fire. <laughs> I'm just always on fire. Oh, no. Don't no, die again. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, no. You know, Ooh, I have her head. I, I do too. Oh, we <laughs> each have your head. Yay. I will display oh, well. it proudly. As you will soon find out, this happens a few times. Anyways, she made it back again and Trash had a brilliant idea. Hear me out. We have one blaze rod so we could make a brewing station. I have a magma cream. 
We have nether wart. We could make fire resistance potions. Okay, that's not a bad idea. And the blaze will be so much easier to deal with if we have fire resistance. Yes. Oh! Ah! We didn't need those uh, stacked. Where, where is it at? So we headed back to the overworld and got the stuff together to brew the potions right in Brooke's backyard. And here comes Trash again with the big brain ideas. Although you should be the one to make it, right? Because that's your task. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's such a smart idea. <laughs> but in order to make the potions last longer, we needed redstone. And obviously going to get our own redstone was too much effort. So we got some from Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Hi. Hi. Would you happen to have some redstone? Um, Probably. I can go look. We just need a What's couple of for? pieces so that we can make our fire resistance potions last longer. Oh, okay. We yeah, are fighting for our lives in the nether. I could say that. <laughs> it's not yeah. going well. <laughs> Medicine dying <twice>. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again, Brooke, for sacrificing your redstone for a few struggling girls. But with our potions in hand, it was time to jump into the nether once again. We went straight over to the fortress, collected more nether wart and some blaze rods. Now it was time to travel to a warped forest for Madison. So after a lot of traveling, we found one. Now cue some more chaos we did it oh hello oh, what? Ah, 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 are you okay ah, are you good ah, what's happening I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna die ah, no! I'm oh god I'm now sorry. it's mad at me okay i killed it i killed it no why oh. No. oh why am i always away for my friends i'm actually the worst like anytime any of them are in danger i'm just off doing my own thing trash and i waited around at the warp forest collecting madison's things i'm gonna make a chest i think oh good thinking do you have wood I'm oh we have to. wood here <laughs> <laughs> We're surrounded by wood. <laughs> <laughs> and gathering odds and ends when Madison met her death for a fourth time. Oh my god. No! Oh. no. I, saw, I saw my own head drop. And a fifth time. <gasps> no! 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 Who? No! 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 Oh. no. <laughs> At this point, Trash and I thought it would be best to go on a rescue mission and personally escort Madison. We met up back at the fortress and safely escorted her to the warped forest. Yay! <laughs> We did it! The place I only saw for like 20 seconds before I died! <laughs> While Madison collected her precious blue wood, I collected some ender pearls, and then we headed back on home. But here's one last bit of chaos before we leave. Oh, stinky! It, it ah! Wait, wait, wait! Oh. Don't come yet! Don't come yet! Oh, no, no, no! Okay. Go, go back down! Back down! Oh, back down! Go back down! <laughs> No, I don't no, know no. what I'm running from. What are, what are we running from? Wither skeleton, is he following? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's, there's like two up there. There's like blaze. <laughs> I like dug into the mountain without even looking. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Just oh. running and screaming. He don't even know what you're running and screaming about. Yeah, there's yeah. there's like wither skeletons and I'm scared. And there's blaze. I'm going to drink this last potion. Oh, oh! Oh! Ah! Oh my gosh! I might You're, die! I might die! Don't I might die! die. No, don't no. die! No. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's so scary! It's so scary up there! It fell on my head! <laughs> <laughs> and I just shifted. Did you literally see me yeet myself off of the fortress and leave everyone in the dust? Yeah, I feel like this adventure has proved to me that I'll do anything to save myself, even if it does sacrifice my friends. Anyways, we headed back to the overworld. I slept in Brooke's bed. Thank you again, Brooke. Trash and I completed our tasks on the board and pressed the button to see our prize. And boop. Oh, iron block. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ooh, I'll take it. Nice. Oh, a diamond! No way! <laughs> Get out of here! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Woo! That's so wow. nice! That is so good! Woo, 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 woo. Uh, I really needed that. Then headed over to the bounty hall, collected our prizes from there, and headed back home. Well, that was a pretty successful caving trip, except maybe not so much for Madison, but I still had a ton of fun nonetheless, and I got everything that I needed to get. I guess we'll just share this lily pad while he spins. 
<laughs> Anyways, I know that I said that I was going to breed up some axolotls, but I honestly just don't have time for it. I want to get this video out tomorrow. I am frantically trying to finish it, so I just don't quite have time for that. Though I will go ahead and name the axolotls. So this one is the pink axolotl. And for the pink one, we will go with the name Razzleberry. And of course, this one is the brown one. And this one will be named Choco Chip. With these fun names for these axolotls, they will now be part of the Scoop Squad, named after ice cream. So I think we should try to get maybe the rest of the colors and name them after ice cream too. At least like the first ones that we're going to have of every color, because we're probably going to have thousands by the end of episode three. But they'll be fine here in this pond, right? Like they're not going to die. I at least hope not, but we'll just leave them there for now. And with all all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I Hello, that's a tree. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope that you have enjoyed it. It has definitely been a fun and chaotic time. Also, I love how we built this tree stump and then we never actually used it. But that's okay because we'll use it in the future. But definitely be sure to like and subscribe. It would help me out huge time. I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.